again, I'm going to talk about another common pattern that we also see in our clinic. The first pattern that I talked about in a previous video was your pelvis that likes to orient over to the right or your car being out of alignment and going over to the right. Some of our patients have this orientation over to the right. Most humans do because we all have a liver on the right side of our body and a spleen on the left side of our body and we only have a heart on our left side of our body which reinforces right leg and rotating our trunk over to the left orientation. But some patients who come into our clinic have not only our pelvis, or pelvis that likes to go over to the right, but think about your car kind of doing a wheelie. So now I have a car that likes to go to the right and the front end of the car has come up and now it's doing a wheelie. So what happens is in that position is that your pelvis is coming forward on both sides, not just the left side when your pelvis is oriented over to the right that I've already discussed. So now both of your pelvises are coming forward on the right. You can see how that can put a lot more stress on your low back and your SI joint. And when both, both felt pelvises come forward, would it make sense if my body's oriented over the right and the front of my car is coming up, that's going to put a lot of stress on the back end. So people can get neck pain, they can get low back pain, their butts can feel tight, and they kind of walk on the balls of their feet that can create calf tension or even plantar fasciitis. Hip flexors tend to overwork. So the pelvis with these individuals is not only going to the right, but it's coming forward. It's a very common pattern that we see with individuals that come into our clinic. We see two, pelvis is like to go to the right, and that pelvis is not only go to the right, but they like to come up and come forward on both sides of the body. So in these individuals, when the pelvis is coming forward, this is happening on both sides of the body. But the pelvis is oriented only over to the right, this is happening only on the left side of the body. But in the pelvis that's coming forward on both sides, that'll cause your ribs to come up. And when the ribs come up, your diaphragm muscle comes down, and now this diaphragm muscle can't help you to breathe. This diaphragm muscle is not going to help to stabilize your body so you can get mid-back tension. Or you have necks that overwork or get overdeveloped or upper traps or shoulders get tight because it's trying to pull your air in because your diaphragm isn't in the correct biomechanical position to help push air for you. Your outer ab muscles that come from your ribs down to your pelvis are going to be more lengthened. And your hip and your pelvic floor are not going to be in the correct position with your glutes to help provide stability. So when this is happening on both sides, we tend to see people that have a lot of lower back and SI tension, a lot of neck tension, necks that get overworked, packs that get overworked, people that get more knee pain, knee tension, and flint ankle tension because they're getting their stabilization from their back, their neck, their hip flexor, their flint ankle on both sides of their body. So our goal in our clinic is to get your car back into alignment. We want to get the front of your car to go down and get it back into the center lane when it's oriented over to the right. When the front of your car is going up and oriented over to the right, that can create a lot of tension for you. So we want to pull your pelvis back. We want to get your ribs to come down. When your ribs come down, that helps get your diaphragm muscle in a more optimal position to help you to breathe. When your ribs go down, that helps to turn your abs on. It helps to put your hip and your pelvic floor in a better position to provide stability. So you're getting that stabilization through your back, your diaphragm, your abs, and your hip and pelvic floor versus your neck, your back, your hip flexor, and your foot ankle. This is core stabilization to help keep your body in the correct biomechanical alignment to allow joints and muscles to help stabilize you correctly. I hope these two common patterns of your body being oriented over to the right or your body not only being oriented to the right, but also you're doing a wheelie will help explain why your body might be creating some tension and havoc for you. Have a great day.